Bonjour, bonsoir, buenos dias, buenas noches. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. So today we're going to be talking about catfish. Thank you all so much for liking these videos and, you know, sharing them as well. Now let's talk about this episode. This one was Genesis and Jarrison. For me, I don't know if it's because, I don't know what happened. I have Philo. Um, not regular cable and it came up episode 94 but last time we did 92 so I'm like what happened to episode 93 when I looked it up it said it was something in one I forgot the names but I'm like so what happened you know is it just me I don't know if it's just me or if it's actually a thing I don't know but I'm gonna do with the episode that I saw that came up on my screen so it is what it is y'all anyway so there was a guy named percy who <clears throat> is filling in for cami this week he definitely had a lot of energy he was a dancer model actor like jack of all trades and um yeah so as far as the episode is concerned the person who wrote in was genesis she's from canada and she wanted to talk about this guy named Jarrison, who's actually from the Bronx, Boogie Down, that's where I'm from. And she knew him since about 2012. And um, she just recently had heard back from him like about a year ago. You know, it's like he came back into her life after they hadn't spoken for so many years. So in 12 years, they haven't video chatted or even spoke on the phone. Like at least some of these people be talking to the people on the phone, you know, so they kind of verify like, okay, this is a guy or this is a girl or whatever. But like, dang, they didn't even talk on the phone. So she gives them all the information. They look it up and they see first off that the photo doesn't seem to be real because the tattoos that she got didn't match the initial Jarrison photos. So that's red flag number one. The next thing is that um, Jarrison said that he pretty much had helped her and stuff like when she was going through like her, well, I believe she said divorce, but pretty much like when she was going through things with her kid's father. Um, so, it was kind of seeming from what was going on that it could have possibly been some connection to her friend Paula because she had told her friend, she feels like she kind of manifested this because she told her friend Paula about Jarrison and then like shortly after, boom, he pops up. So I don't know, like it just, it just wasn't really sounding right. It sounded like something was going on. And that's the same thing that Neve and this dude was saying like, okay, it's too, it's very convenient, too convenient that she mentions him, then boom, he comes into her life again. That's, you know, a little weird. They find out that Jarrison has another page and he actually has a fiance. And yeah, it, it was like, okay, it seems like someone's literally pretending to be Jarrison because he moved on. So it's like, what is going on? Um, so they call her friend and ask about Jarrison, but she claims that she had nothing to do with anything. She didn't even know about any of it. So now they call Genesis. And I mean, they, they tell G Genesis everything that she they learned. And um, she just kind of started crying, like instantly, like just waterworks coming down. Next thing they did was they pretty much reached out to the fiance of Jarrison and she's like, she don't trust guys. Like you could definitely tell she had some tr definitely trust issues. And she said that wasn't the first time that something like that has happened. So I guess he be out here. It's like, dude, like if you that pressed, like move on. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, he's doing what he's doing. You talking about you frustrating, you mad. So why are you still with him? You know? And why are you engaged to him on that? You about to get married to somebody who frustrates you and cheats on you. But anyway, that's all. That's something for a whole nother story. <laughs> um, so they asked her about it. And like I said, she said this wasn't the first time something like that happened. 
So with her help, they verified that it actually was not this guy who was Jerison because they they had her like kind of use the phone and see if if her number kind of popped up or anything like that but luckily none of that happened so that kind of crosses that out because it was like that was like one of those double-edged swords like kind of like damn if you do damn if you don't because if it's him yeah it's great that it's him but that means that he's a cheater if it's not him then it's pretty much a catfish for sure so that's pretty bad as well <laughs> So it's like either way, she wasn't going to really win. So now they finally, they set up the meeting and all that. And boom, lo and behold, it kind of did have something to do with Paula because it was Paula, which is her best friend's little brother. <laughs> this dude is infatuated by her. Like, this was crazy. He said that he liked her for like three years and had a crush on her. And, I mean, he ended up apologizing for everything he did, but she was just kind of, like, she was just kind of, like, over it. I, I do feel like she was mad. She said she's not going to be mad at him forever because his sister is her best friend. She helped her out with a lot of things. But, you know, she was asking, like, why didn't you just tell me these things? Like, maybe something could have happened, but, like, not anymore. Because, I mean, at the end of the day, he literally was lying. He stalked her, you know, looked through overheard her messages so he was being nosy it's just so many negative things associated with the way that he moved like why would she, why would she even want to be with you after that like that's like then those are the things that you have to look forward to mm -mm. so yeah she wasn't really feeling none of that and um yeah i mean at the end of the day it didn't really move forward from there i'm pretty sure she did forgive him but yeah that was that was that was a bad move bro like that's not how you get the girl that was that was terrible so i mean that was pretty much the episode in a nutshell um i know some things were a little out of sequence because it's, it's kind of late y'all so i was a little tired <laughs> i gave a lot but i wanted to make sure i got this out to you guys i'm gonna see if i can do help i'm in a secret relationship as well all right i'll see you guys on the next one laters